Hi, I'm Matt Sayer, a product manager for Splunk Mission Control, and today I'm going to demonstrate the first page users interact with every day in Mission Control, the Incident Review page. Starting on this Incident Review page provides analysts a consolidated queue of all security incidents. These incidents in front of us are notable events automatically ingested from Splunk Enterprise Security Cloud. Alternatively, you can add security incidents created ad hoc via the plus incident button in the top right corner. We're seeing incidents from the last 24 hours, along with multiple columns with details about the incident. As analysts, we can also search and apply filters to the incidents to prioritize the most critical ones or to help determine whether to remediate or escalate an incident. Let's create an example filter right now. We'll start by searching for incidents that trigger the threat activity detected correlation search, and we'll further filter it to media emergency events. This will reduce the overall amount of incidents to a more manageable amount, something that an analyst can more easily focus on to address a subset of incidents that meet a certain criteria. Now we're customizing the column set. Clicking the gear icon shows us the many available columns, or we can remove a couple columns that we may not be interested in. Let's save this filter so we can easily choose this later. As I write the name of the filter I'm saving, we can see the filter configuration includes everything I selected. After I save this, I'll be able to easily reference it in the Save Filters drop-down later. Lastly, we can bulk edit incidents by selecting multiple incidents and then either running a playbook against them, or we can update all the selected incidents fields like owner, status, description, etc. I hope you can appreciate that the Incident Review page is a powerful way to organize incidents for your organization. Thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit about Mission Control with me today.